33 the time. Welcome to the Court of Public Opinion, the uh, Rick Roberts Show. I realize it's a tough question, and that's not why I ask it. I ask it because it's a question we're going to have to answer as a society. Black, white, man, woman, doesn't matter. You know, I challenge any TV news station in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that may be listening. And first of all, if you're listening, thank you. But I challenge any of you, any of you, on your coverage of school shootings or violence in schools, instead of, forgive me, But instead of taking the easy way out, well, let's see. Let's get some B-roll, that's film, uh, of uh, AK-47s. Let's do that. This is the type of gun that was used to murder so many AK-47s or maybe a long shot down a uh, pistol range where people are firing. I challenge any of the TV news stations that are listening to me right now, try to focus on the root problem. Maybe show me some video of a 13-year-old by himself because he doesn't have any friends for whatever reason sitting on his back porch with the dog staring at the backyard. Or maybe show me a couple of teenagers in a darkened bedroom because they never come out, have any interaction with their parents, and like Adam Lanza, the Sandy Hook school shooting shooter, Show him playing a computer game called School Shooting, in which the player enters a school and randomly fires on students and teachers. Lanza gunned down his own mother in his home and then killed 20 children and six adults. And he did it after playing School Shooting video. You know, give me, give me a shot of that. Give me a list of those type of video games. I, I know it's tough. It's much tougher. It's a lot easier. Uh, yeah, go get me like a 30 seconds B-roll of an AK-47, and we'll put a graphic underneath it. There we go. There's the news story for the day. Go seek out those kids that are sitting by themselves outside. Where are their friends? Who do they communicate with? Who do they interact with? Go to go to a video store uh, or some of these uh, websites where you purchase these kind of videos, and give me a list of those. Show me a, a like I said, a darkened bedroom with a couple of kids sitting in there playing those games for hours on end. That's where the problem is. It's not with the hardware; it's with the software. Um, all right, let's go to uh, Jimmy in Dallas. Jimmy, thank you for waiting. How you doing, Jimmy? I'm doing fine. Uh, Actually, my my uh, solution to the to your question is is actually a four phased process. First of all, we do need to get God back in school. Second of all, we need to get rid of government help. Period. Third thing is we need to get rid of false narratives such as Jesse Jackson and and um, and Al Sharpton. And then the third thing is we need to control our immigration, illegal immigration. Because these people come in and they don't assimilate. But back to the uh, false narratives of Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton, I feel like personally that we were race tensions were almost a thing of the past before the previous administration. And all Barack Obama did was fuel their narrative and add power to their false narrative. Well, to some extent, you're, you're right. I mean, he certainly didn't help. Um, You know, those people that are looking for racism are going to find it every single day. Those people that espouse racism every time a cloud comes up in the sky, uh, they're going to find it no matter what, even on a clear day. You know, but this is crazy. This is nuts. You know, there's no difference between black people and white people other than the social mores they've been raised with or given by their political leaders or so-called leaders um and it's got to change and government's not going to change it your state's not going to change it you're not going to change it unless you try in a concerted way to say okay look government can't even run the dmv i I tell you what pack a sandwich 
maybe an orange or an apple and a drink and go sit out in your car and look at the DMV some Thursday afternoon. You want those people uh, running your health care? You want the people responsible for that charged with bringing the races back together in a cohesive fashion? It's not going to happen. Never has. All right. Good call. I appreciate it very much, Jimmy. Uh, don't be a stranger. Let's go to Matthew. Matthew and Ennis. Matthew, thank you for waiting. How you doing, Matthew? I'm doing just fine. Uh, multiple caller, first-time listener. I mean, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. That's pretty sad. I understand what you say, isn't it? <laughs> right. I know. So, um, so like I told your call screener, so if if we could just go back to being family, because I remember I'm a Gen Xer, so you go back to 1978, 79, you know, right before high school. Um, I live in a mixed neighborhood in Oak Cliff over by uh, Polk Street, I guess, Peace Park, whatever. And I know that my African-American friends, their parents would tell my parents what I was doing or vice versa. And so if we can get back to the family and just get the government out of it, because the government always just messes everything up. Do you, do you, veteran, okay, stop, stop, wait, wait, stop right there, Matthew. I don't want you to run over something too quickly. You said, and I'm I, I'm quoting what you just said, if we could get back to the family and leave the government out of it, you have correctly highlighted the problem. Too many people of all colors did exactly what the government was trying to do and has been trying to do for some time. You know, I'm not one of these... You know, um, people sitting in the basement, uh, you know, preppers or because the government's coming. Um, I'm not a sky is falling kind of guy. The government sought to be the family for Americans. If they could do that, right. they could they could stay in charge of you, control your vote forever. And too many people gave up that uh, that ability. We need to That's go right. back to the family. Forget the government. That's right. Right, that's cradle to grave. Yes. You know, I'm going to tell you what to do, cradle to grave. I, you know, I don't like that. And so the way I rose, I mean, my children, I have two grown children, right? They're on their own. And what they did was they take their own responsibility for whatever happens. If they make a bad mistake or a bad decision, they, they take that and own it and move on to the next step. But right now, it's like, I got the safety net. The government will take care of me. I mean, I can go and apply for, you know, Section 8. I can apply for WIC or welfare no, or whatever. No, you're exactly right. The government has ceased to do what the Founding Fathers charged it to do in that first circle of protection for the American people. The second was the states. They've ceased. That was boring. They weren't making any money. They couldn't, uh, you know, they couldn't grow in size and scope unless they got more people dependent on it. Well, how do we do that? Give them stuff. If they get stuff then they won't do it themselves we become the family that's exactly what happened exactly all right and speaking of that stop politicizing the the sex of childhood what's the sex of childhood i'll tell you next 